Hello, this is Monique here with LaneSixSigmaSource.com and today's tutorial is on how to calculate tack time. Let's get started. What is tack time? Well, tack time comes from the German word taxit, meaning cycle time. The definition is the maximum allowable time needed to produce one unit in order to meet customer demand. It's often illustrated by the conductor of a symphony that determines the pace at which the symphony plays. It's your pace and it answers the question, at what rate do we need to run to meet customer demand? So let's do an example. Our formula here is tack time is equal to net operating time divided by customer requirements. It helps me to remember OT over CR. For this example, we'll have just one eight-hour shift. It'll give us a 480 minutes of available time in that shift. Then we'll need to subtract out our unavailable time, which would be two 15-minute breaks, 10 minutes startup meeting, 30 minutes for lunch, 10 minutes for end of shift cleanup, and 15 minutes for machine setup. So that'll leave us with 385 minutes available for that shift. Now let's say our customer demand is for 50 units. So what is our tack time? Tack time is equal to 385 minutes over the 50 units. And it'll be equal to 7.7 .7 minutes per unit for this example. So what does that really mean? That's your pace. Every seven minutes, you need to produce at least one unit to meet customer requirements every seven minutes. That is your pace. So that's tack time and that helps you determine you know, your staffing requirements. And I wanna show you one other thing. It's a tool that I use. It's called uh, Sigma XL, which was included in, um, the software was included with my black belt certification. And I use it um, to help me um, with these calculations. Um, so I'm in Excel here and I'm going to go to the Sigma Excel option and I'll go to templates and calculators. I'll go to the lean option and tack time calculator. Let me enlarge this so you can see it. Okay so this is the Sigma Excel lean tip template tack time calculator. So let's do the example in the tack time calculator and see what conclusions we're able to draw. So our daily customer demand is 50 units. Scheduled work, eight hours per shift. We had one shift, 30 minutes for lunch, 30 minutes for breaks. And we had an end of shift cleanup, machine setup, and a startup meeting, which was a total of 35 minutes of planned downtime. All right, so it calculates here the available time is 385 minutes. And you can see that our tack time is 7.7 .7 units. But you'll also see a field here that is very useful in determining our standard work requirements. And that's where we use our tack time. So we do our cycle time observations and find out, say it takes 10 minutes, um, you have 10 minutes a work task per operator okay so we're going to look down here and see what is the required number of staff operators so if I just tab down we get 1.3 so with this calculation here say our operator our time cycle time per operator is 10 minutes we need at least two people in that cell to meet our tack time or our customer demand so as you can see, um, that Sigma Excel is a very powerful tool to use with all the, the calculators and the statistical analysis you can do. And um, it, it's something that I use. It's very helpful to me to have in my Six Sigma toolbox. So again, that's the Tap Time tutorial. And I'm Monique, and I am with LeanSixSigmaSource.com. Have a great day.